So we are going to write the linear equation from this table right here. As you notice, we have an x value tables and we have also our y values in our table. So before we start, we need to look if we can find an x value of zero like this one right here. Why? Because this is actually what is going to show us what is the equation that you, we would start for. If you find an x value of zero, that means that we are going to be able to use the formula y equals mx plus b. Why? Because every time that we have an x zero, this is actually our y-intercept, which is our b value. So right away we can say that my b equals zero. This one right here will be my b value, which in this specific case happens to be a zero. Okay, then we, know we have our b value in our equation. Now we need to figure out our m, our slope. Now the way that we find slope in a table is going to be change of y over change of x. So we're going to start by looking for the change of y. And all that we have to do is look at here. The easiest way to do is do this number, negative 6, minus negative 12. In this case, that would be plus 6. And then we look for the change of x, which in this case would be from here to here, meaning the easy way to find it is going to be from negative, negative 2 minus negative 4, which would be a plus 2. So my change of y was 6, my change of x was 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now we know what is my b value and my m value. So my slope is 3, my y-intercept is 0, so now I can write my equation. My equation is y equals 3, which is the slope, x, and then here we can say plus 0, but in reality we're never going to see a plus 0, so this equation should look like y equals 3x. And that'll be the equation for this table. Let's look at another example now. So in this um, table, we are going to start obviously looking in the x to see if we find a zero value. The answer is no. So what does that tell me? I cannot use y equals mx plus b. Instead, we're going to have to use point slope which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So let me make sure that we understand this formula. First of all, m is still the slope that doesn't change and the x1 and y1 are actually an x and a y value of a point now in this case we have several options we can pick any of these points my advice when we get there we're going to use the smallest one okay so let's start with the easy part let's start with the slope so we have a table so the easy way to find slope is going to be change of y over change of x so let's start with the change of y which is going to be right here and like i said the easy way to find it is 17 minus 13 which in this case that'll give us 4. then the change of x which in this case, the easy way to find it is do 7 minus 5, 
which will give us 2. So the change of y4 over the change of x, which is a 2, gives me 2. So now I'm certain that m equals 2. Okay. Now, like I was saying, I'm going to use a point. In this case, I can use any of those points, but to make it easier for myself, I'm going to pick the x and y values that are smaller. The, the point that has the smallest one will be this one, 5 or 13. So the point that we're going to use is going to be 5, 13, meaning my x1 equals 5, my y1 equals 13. So now I'm ready to start substituting. I'm going to say y minus y1, which happens to be a 13, equals m, which is my slope, and I know that it was a 2, x minus x1, which happens to be a 5. Okay. So now I know that this does not look like an equation, but what we are going to do now is actually follow our order of the operations. We're going to first get rid of our parentheses, and then we're going to solve for y, and then we're going to have our equation. So let's start with this. We have parentheses here, so we're going to do our distributive property. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times negative 5, negative 10. And then on the other side, we still have a y minus 13. I need to solve for y, leave the y alone. How am I going to do that? Well, in this case, I'm going to have to add 13 to cancel the, the negative 13. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. Again, 13 is a number, so I'll add it to my 10, which is also a number, not to the x's, because that's a variable. So, these two are going to cancel. I still have 2x, and I'm writing it like this. I'll explain that in a minute. And then, we have negative 10 plus 13 gives me a positive 3. So even though that I didn't know the, slow, the y intercept when I started for my table, by the time that I use my point slope and do all my work, I know that the slope is 2. I knew that from the beginning. But thanks to the work that I did, I end up with the slope intercept form. So I figure out also that the y intercept of this line or table is going to be positive 3, even though I cannot see it. So this is how you would do it.